My sinuses, I'm gonna snore all night. Oh. <laughs> what if your kid spills his milk? What do you do? Slap him in the head? What? What does that even mean? You're not a very tolerant person. Look, you've been under my skin since New York. Starting with ripping off my cab. God, you're a tight ass. Yeah, how would you like a mouthful of tea? Oh, hey, hostile too. Nice personality combination. Hostile and intolerant. That's borderline criminal. Screw you. Yeah. You spilled beer all over the bed. You smoke. You messed up the bathroom. Well, who let you stay in the room, huh? I even let you pay for it so you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you most certainly are. I'm the intruder. Yes, you're an intruder. I was having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. I walked into your life? Who was it that talked my ear off on the plane, hmm? I'm wondering, hmm, who was that? I'm curious. Well, well, who told you to book a room, huh? I, you know what? Boy, you know what? You are a, a, an ungrateful jackass. I, 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 go ahead and sleep in the lobby. See if I care. I hope you wake up so stiff that you can't even move. You're no saint. You got a free cab. You got a free room, and someone to listen to all your boring stories. I mean, didn't you notice on the plane that when you started talking, eventually I started reading the vomit bag? Didn't that give you some sort of clue? Like, hey, maybe this guy's not enjoying that. Oh, and by the way, not everything's an antidote. You have to discriminate. You have to pick things that are funny, or mildly amusing, or interesting. You're amazing. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Honey, I'd like you to meet Del Griffin. He's got an amusing antidote for you. Oh, and here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll fake me for it. You know, I could sit through any insurance seminar for days. I could just listen to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. And, and they'll say, how can you do it? And I'll say, because I'm going to tell Griffin I can handle anything. And you know what they'll say? They'll say, I know what you mean. The shower curtain ring guy. Oh! It's like going on a date with a Chatty Cathy doll. I expect you have a little string on your chest that I'd have to pull out and snap back. Except for I wouldn't have to pull it out, you would. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, and by the way, when you're telling these little stories, have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. You want to hurt me? Go, go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I, I know I'm an easy target. Yeah, you're right. I, I talk too much. I also listen too much. You know, I, I could be a, a cold-hearted cynic like you, but, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. So you can say what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like me. My wife likes me. And my, my customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get.
Nice. Nice. Good, good job, guys. Great. Really great. Nice. That, wonderful on that, on, on that note, Adam. Um, because, you know, the first time... It, it, it's, it's something that, that we do as actors a lot. We have a, you know, you've heard me say this before. If there's an argument, if there's an argument in the scene, we're going to go for the argument. But in life, we don't go for the argument. We don't go for the argument. We try to avoid it. And when we do, sometimes go. If it's a man, if it's a man, if it's a guy like you who doesn't speak to people like this, you don't speak to people like this. No. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Do you know what I mean? So when when that when that tiger gets out of the cage, and you say you say these very hurtful things, then you start to think, who was that? Was that me that said that? So, so this time around, uh, the humanity of the man, the, the reason why they're friends at the end of the movie came through. And that's what I, that, that's what I wanted to get. I mean, it's really funny the first time, and it was, really, it, it was really terrific. If we were shooting it, we certainly would have printed that take, and there would have been parts of it that we could use. But, um, but it's worth it to get to that moment, to get to that, that as soon as you finish saying it, you were like, who was that? Who was that person that said all of those horrible things? Even if they were true, you know, if you know, it, it goes back to the oldest of sayings: if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. You know, and and we do, you know, we, we're all guilty. I mean, I'm certainly guilty of of saying things I regret. Um, sometimes you can apologize for them, and sometimes you can't. Sometimes it takes it takes years to get to a place where someone trusts you again, or they or they really forgive you. For something, um, uh, and uh, uh, Brandon, wonderful. I loved. Uh, it's really heartbreaking when you said my, my my wife likes me. And then, for those of you who don't know the story, we find out later on that his wife is has, is deceased, and he still wears his wedding band. And so, and the thing is, that's not a lie. Your wife can be deceased and still like you. She's looking down. She's looking. She's looking after you. She's waiting for you. And, and that's that, and his humanity, and again, John Candy, John Candy, John Candy. Watch John Candy movies if you want to see just a consummate professional. I had a, 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 a number of women were asked who's the sexiest man, leading man they ever worked with, and a bunch of them said John Candy. Because he's just... He is the genuine. He is the genuine article, and you really have that mantle to pick up and carry, Brandon. We were talking about this yesterday, about that how you how well you use your your frame, and how you know, I mean you're you're such a, you're such a fantastic young character actor, and you're going to get so much work because you're not afraid you're not afraid to embrace and use your your your, your largesse. But I mean, it's, I mean, words, I mean, you used it. You, you used it beautifully in the uh, in the monologue with from uh, the comedy. Um, and you know, and and we and we despised you, and then you used it again today, <coughs> and we fall in love with you. So that that thing that you that that you have going on is is perfect, and um, and there was a wonderful chemistry between the two men this time. The first time was just laugh out loud, loud hysterical. And again, if we were shooting it, there would have been pieces that we that we used. But I'm really glad we did it again, and I'm glad that you found that. You can't leave. You can't leave. You can't leave Dell. Right. How did that work for you? Yeah, no, I like that. Um, yeah, like I finished, and like in my head, it was like one of those like, one grab all the words back. Oh, 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 flip back in your mouth, right? But. Uh, and I think just like I played with like the distance, and that was like I was here, and then I retreated like right away. Yeah, but that, when you w when you were really on him, you made your you made your way all the way to the end of the bed. Yeah, you got as close to him as you could get with where where with, with the obstacle in your way, yeah. right? How'd that make you feel the way he came at you this time? Uh, I, I tried to let things hit me more, like just you know, it just kept going on and on. It wasn't just like a quick step. It was just like constant, like this, this, and this. And this is all stuff that I've probably known about myself and self-loathing, the whole package kind of a thing. And here's somebody saying it all out loud to me. It's like, makes it so much worse. Yeah. 
again, we couldn't see your face because of where we're sitting, but I could feel you listening to his silence. I could feel I could that you you played that very nicely um, when you got into bed the, the last time. The, the only thing I thought you were going to do because you're Brandon. As, as soon as you got settled in, I thought you were going to start clearing your sinuses. <laughs> 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 I gotta be clear. That'd be great. This is great. Wonderful work. Thanks, guys. Good job. Okie dokie, so we'll get set up for. Um, Boys Life. Boys Life.